Linda. Welcome to the R&D Botanical Garden. I'm so glad to have you here. Thanks, Nicole. It is great to be out here. I spend too much time running the Fragrance Foundation from New York City, and today to be in the greenhouse is truly a thrill. Just to start at the beginning, what is the greenhouse? We like to call this the IFF Research Botanical Gardens. It's a series of greenhouses. We have a few rooms here. This room that we're in is mostly all orchids. We have an alpine rock garden. We have a tropical rotunda, and we have hydroponic capabilities as well. Besides flowers, we have herbs, we have fruits. And this all started way back when some analytical capabilities had come out, and this is around the 80s. It was our way of being able to collect the scent of flowers that were not available in perfumery any other way. Could you really tell us what headspace is? Because I know it's a tremendous advantage to recreate scent without destroying planet Earth. Sure. Our headspace technology, we brand living technology. So I have a demonstration set up here. This is a Cattleya orchid, and we have it enclosed in this glass. This flower is emitting a scent. It's filling up in the glass where we're concentrating it. We have a device in there that's going to trap that scent on there. Really only need one flower. So this is a needle, and when I push this plunger down, mm -hmm. this part comes out, and this is coated with a sorbent polymer. It acts like a sponge or a magnet, and it will hold those aroma molecules onto it. We can then bring this to the laboratory. Clint, I've been waiting to meet you all day. We've been in the greenhouse. Could you explain who you are and what you do here at IFF? So my name is Clint Wormus. I am a lead scientist in the R&D group. Uh, work with a group called Product Research, and we're responsible for non-targeted analysis of flavors, fragrances, and uh, ingredients. When I was out in the greenhouse, Nicole spoke about the extraction from an orchid and how it would be translated in the lab to headspace. So when Nicole or an analyst collects a sample from the greenhouse or, or otherwise, we can bring it back to our analytical laboratory. And what we're gonna use is a technique called GC mass spectrometry. It's a, an analytical technique that we can use to separate, identify, and quantify the different ingredients uh, within that headspace. This is an example of a chromatogram, which is the output from the, the GC mass spec system. So what we're looking at here is a plot of essentially intensity versus retention time. And the intensity gives us a, a relative idea of how much of that component is there. And the retention time along with the mass spec gives us an ability to identify uh, what those components are. So instead of, for example, smelling that orchid as one composition, you're able to smell each individual odorant within that composition. This is remarkable. This takes mad scientists to a new level, Clint, and I think you've got it. Mackenzie, it is so exciting to be visiting the greenhouse at IFF today. So could you describe from a perfumer's point of view, how does the experience with Living's affect the work you do? So Living's adds another element to the palette that we have for our creations. Can you tell us a story perhaps about a particular experience that connects to Living's that brought new ingredients into your portfolio? Yes, so one of my favorite experiences I had with the Living's was a trek that we did out to Yellowstone National Parks and we worked with the head botanist of the park and we got to explore all the different flora that are growing out there and we got to capture the fragrances of some plants that are endangered so we would never consider picking them or harming them but with this headspace technology we can capture the fragrance of the plant and then recreate it using nature identical molecules and get you know the best of both worlds. This was such a great day for the Fragrance Foundation at IFF's greenhouse. I think what it's also teaching consumers is the entire assortment of ingredients only continues to expand. And having IFF's greenhouse, it lets the entire world of ingredients come together. It's really an opportunity for perfumers to go through all the possibilities and be inspired right here at the greenhouse in New Jersey. What we've learned today is that the Living's really gives us the opportunity to get these fabulous scents without destroying the planet. Mackenzie, it's been such a pleasure to spend the day with you out here in New Jersey at, at IFF's greenhouse. It's also really great because it's a significant day in the fragrance world. It's International Fragrance Day, and I got to spend it with you in IFF. Aww. So, 
Shall we wish the world a little Fragrance Day happiness? Yes. Okay. Happy Fragrance, Fragrance Day, Day, everyone.